In 2016, a new main battle tank from Poland was introduced, known as the PT-16. This tank represents a significant upgrade over the PT-9120, which itself is an improved version of the Soviet T-72 and is produced locally. The PT-16 aims to provide a cost-effective enhancement to the capabilities of aging tanks in terms of protection, firepower, and mobility. The Polish Army currently operates 233 PT-9120 tanks and 120 older T-72M1 tanks, with an additional 470 T-72M1 tanks in storage. This presents an opportunity to upgrade these tanks to the new PT-16 standard. The Polish Army also utilizes a number of ex-German Leopard 2A4 and Leopard 2A5 tanks, with plans to upgrade the older Leopard 2A4 tanks to the Leopard 2PL standard. The PT-16 features an upgraded hull based on the PT-91-T-72, equipped with add-on composite armor supplied from Germany. The lower side of the hull is protected by rubber skirts. The original cast turret has also been fitted with additional composite armor, resulting in improved protection compared to the PT-9120. The developers claim that the maximum protection level of the front arc of the turret is equivalent to 1000 mm of rolled homogeneous armor RHA, a level similar to the Leopard 2A5 tank. Further protection can be achieved by adding Polish Arawa explosive reactive armor. Armed with a 120mm smoothbore gun compatible with standard NATO ammunition, the PT-16 features a new locally designed autoloader located in the turret bustle. This autoloader holds 22 rounds of ammunition and has a loading rate of 12 rounds per minute. Unlike the previous carousel-type autoloader in the T-72, this design reduces the crew to three members. However, it avoids the vulnerability of storing all ammunition within the crew compartment in case of armor penetration, as it has separate compartments with blowout panels. The developers also propose the use of newly manufactured welded turrets for the PT-16, allowing for weight savings or improved armor protection. The tank carries around 40 rounds of main gun ammunition, including various types of rounds like APFSDS and E rounds. The PT-16 features an entirely new fire control system with new sights for both the commander and gunner. The tank possesses a hunter-killer engagement capability, where the commander uses a panoramic sight to locate targets. Once a target is chosen, the gun automatically aligns with the target, and the gunner completes the aiming and firing process while the commander searches for the next target. This approach is a common feature in modern main battle tanks, enabling faster target acquisition and engagement. The tank also comes equipped with a new sensor system, including laser warning receivers that identify the direction of laser sources and trigger smoke grenade dischargers. Secondary armaments consist of a coaxial 7.62mm machine gun and a roof-mounted remotely controlled weapon station with a 12.7mm machine gun. The PT-16 is operated by a crew of three, including a commander, gunner, and driver. For propulsion, the PT-16 is intended to be equipped with an unspecified Serbian turbocharged diesel engine generating 1,000 horsepower. It's important to note that Poland used to have its own S-1000 turbocharged diesel engine with the same power output, but tank engines have not been produced in Poland since 2012. Two other engine options are proposed, an MTU diesel engine developing 1,088 horsepower and a Serbian V46 TK engine developing 1,200 horsepower. The tank's tracks resemble those of the German Leopard 2 series tanks. The PT-16 appears to have the capability to use a deep wading kit, allowing it to forge shallow water obstacles up to 4 meters deep.